I reviewed this little DOS sound box, a little speaker that sounds impressive for what it is, a little small speaker. You should watch that review if you haven't seen it already. This was 12 watts, two little 6 watt speakers and a 2.6 inch passive resonance chamber. And at the end of that video, I teased this, a larger DOS speaker, and this is the DOS Soundbox XL. So DOS Soundbox, Soundbox XL, and the XL, it's 32 watts, and they get that by two 10 watt speakers, and the plus 12. I'm guessing this isn't a passive resonance chamber, but this in fact has a powered subwoofer. So let me get this open, and we'll see what this DOS Soundbox XL is really like. Well, I didn't bring a knife, but I do have keys. So we'll cut these safety tabs open. And you'll get to experience this along with me. It's like a card of some sort. Huh. Join us. Okay, so let's get this out. Now, first thing, really, let me get this out of the way here. I want to mention this packaging. This was very Apple-esque. I mean, very sleek, very good quality cardboard and packaging. Nice. This is just kind of cheap looking. Being from the same company, I would expect the same kind of packaging. So I'm wondering, you know, some of these little companies like this, these name brands you don't really know, rebrands of other stuff. So we'll see. But I'm not impressed by the packaging at least compared to the other speaker. Now I do see down in this box, the instructions look exactly like the instructions for the smaller sound box. And then there's another box here. I'm assuming this is USB cable and things like that. Now, one of my only complaints after having, we can't even get into this, after having this smaller sound box for a while, is that it doesn't there's no power you just have a usb rechargeable so you can't really charge it or play it while it's charging well i assume you probably could but there's no powered cable like this has so that is an actual power cable so that's good so that means i can set this up as just a basic speaker and put it wherever i want rather than it being something it's considered more portable and looks like a little standard audio jack all right so let's get this off lots of foam now this is this is heavy but it's not as heavy as this is in relation to its size well I don't know no it's it's pretty heavy I'll put the weight up on the screen or mention it here in a minute See how they tape this up. This isn't as good. This isn't that cornstarch packing material either. All right, this looks more traditional, less modern and streamlined than the regular sound box. This is, of course, again the sound box XL, but I can see three speakers. So there are smaller ones and there is a larger one so I'm guessing that's the two tens and the 12 on the back not much I don't know what the purpose of that groove is the little smart card slot or excuse me micro SD card slot audio in and of course the power a couple of interesting notes here first and foremost you know I mentioned that packaging it just looks better on this original sound box so look at the quality of the printing on the instructions it's little things like this that usually clue me in on what I hope isn't the experience I hope this sounds better but I mean, just look at that a lot better quality and also when I get into this even though it has this AC outlet it says to charge it fully before first use so I'm starting to think that maybe because there's no mention in the instructions here about being able to use this powered by the AC adapter this mentions the battery power which by the way is a 7.4 volt 2200 milliamp this was this one I think was a 3.7 volt 2200 also, there's no mention of pairing with an Amazon Echo, just 
Pair smart device, so I don't know that it wouldn't work, but it's curious that it was mentioned in the instructions on the smaller unit, but not on this one. So let me get this charged up, pop the SD card, micro SD card in it, and we'll see what it sounds like. All right, before I get into letting you hear the music, let me tell you, it's about two weeks later, I think a week and a half that I've been using this exclusively. You can see there's fingerprints all over it. Let me clarify a couple of things. Number one, I said two tens and a 12. That was the wattage, just one and a half, one and a half, and a 12. That's a little subwoofer, but also you get the right angle. You can kind of see down in here and over in here. There are other ports, and that's the resonance chambers. And that's where this thing gets its base. Now, I said on this other little sound box that it was surprising the amount of bass that it has, and that's because it has any at all, but it's not a real, you know, thumper bass. It's surprising, but it has these resonance this resonance chamber and this downward firing, so that kind of helps it. This is all front firing, and I'm not as big of a fan of that. I kind of like the down firing because you can put it in a corner and even get more, but even with that, it's still amazingly loud. I'm about to turn it on and let you hear it, but let me cover a couple of things before I do. And that is what it sounds like when you turn it on, what it sounds like when you turn it off, and also about charging. So let's turn it on. Turn it off. I can plug this into the AC adapter and charge it while it plays. So that's good, and battery-wise, I got about 10 hours, which is what it's supposed to get, and that was via Bluetooth. I didn't play it just with the SD card, but just like the other speaker, Bluetooth isn't quite as robust sounding as that SD card, and that's for the reason the SD card can put out more data to give it more sound. But let me go into the SD card. I'll let you listen to this thing and see what it sounds like. Same songs I did on the other one. So it should cycle through. We'll stop it there. That should give you an idea of what this sounds like. I hope it came through as well as it did for the small sound box, but very impressive. So I do like this, and you know, the first day or two, I thought, eh, I kind of like this better because it's so small and compact, and that, you know, that does mean something. Plus, you can even get a carry case for this, so that makes that cool. But I did notice after a couple of days, even though I have both, I was listening to the Soundbox XL, so that says something. So the pros and cons, made a little list here. Rundown, I've already talked about the great sound, I've already talked about the battery life, and the more bass, so that resonance chamber with an actual little subwoofer in there, would have preferred that to be downward firing. The downsides again, I talked about not as stylish, and the little clicky buttons, let me turn this off so it doesn't start doing crazy things here. But, you know, the touch interface and versus the clicky buttons. No sound meter, no volume meter, rather. 
just like the other one there's no volume meter but unlike the other one there is no way to know when the battery is running out on this the other one will play that tone to let you know the battery's getting low this one will just play until it just turns off so I don't particularly like that now it does have a beep you can go all the way to the top here goes my air conditioner you can go all the way to the top and you'll hear a beep so at least you can know when you're at max volume so you know overall it just looks bland but it does work great so that's the DOS sound box pan up here a little bit that's the DOS sound box XL definitely louder and more powerful than this I have the other review you should watch it on this if you want more info on that I'll put links in the description thanks for watching and have a great day